On Veterans Day, we honor our service members, but Paws of War is dedicated to supporting them 365 days of the year. We're at their location in Long Island to see the heroic dogs in action. Paws of War is an incredible organization that rescues dogs from shelters and trains them to be service dogs for veterans suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, traumatic brain injury, and other emotional effects of war. It helps with anxiety, it gives them an outlet, it gives them a best friend. Paws of War has supported over 100 veterans, some as soon as they've unpacked their bags. Our service members come only a couple of months, maybe a year or so, out of the military, and they're having great difficulty reintegrating into everyday life. They're pretty raw at this point. Which is why Paws of War takes great care in selecting just the right dog. Some veterans might tell us that, oh, you know, growing up, I had a poodle and I'd really love to have a poodle. I'm allergic. I need something that doesn't shed. I like a big dog. I want a small dog. We want to go with what they're going to be most comfortable with. I've had dogs all my life, mostly labs like him. It's pretty funny. He looks exactly like my parents' dog, except my parents' dog is a little chubby. Once the perfect partner is selected, Rebecca prepares the dog to meet their vet. I start them as early as 12 weeks old so that we can get all their basics and foundations in the beginner and the puppy class. And then training transfers to the service member who teaches the dog to meet their personal everyday needs. What we have found by having the veteran be part of the training is the undeniable connection that they develop with their dog. When I have nightmares, he just started coming over and licking my hands and I'd wake up. And then I'd be like, oh man, Rocky's in my room again. So now I stop putting him in his crate at night because he's actually responding to some of the things that happen to me at night. They really learn how to read their dog. The dog learns how to read them. That bond comes in handy in everyday situations that can be hazardous for victims of PTSD. Some people that suffer from PTSD crowds are extremely overwhelming and not many people are aware of that. So you go out to dinner and a party of 10 just swarms around you. Someone that has PTSD might actually completely introvert and shut down. So what our service dog does here now, it gives them an outlet. They can pay attention to the dog instead of that crowd coming around, or the dog will take them outside real fast so that they can catch their breath and then they can come back in. He may not know the extent of what he does, but what he does definitely saves my life. Positive War doesn't just provide a life-saving service dog, it provides a community. We're a big um, home away from home from the VA. If you're a veteran and you're afraid to go to the VA or you don't know how to navigate the VA, or you need a place to come, come here and talk to us. Rocky, come here. Sit. Sit. Down. Come here. Down. Good boy. Watch me.